Marks two years since the disappearance of Kyron Horman. The solemn anniversary comes just days after his mother, Desiree, filed a civil lawsuit against his stepmom, Terry Horman, demanding she tell the family where Kyron is. Point Local 6 reporter Brent Weisberg joining us live from Beaverton and the Wall of Hope there. And Brent, after Friday's new developments in the case, Kyron's father, Kane, back out in the community, raising more awareness about his son's disappearance over the weekend. Exactly. Good morning, Chad. Kane Horman says that he really wants to be out in front, making sure that the public never forgets about his son. Kane Horman says that he will never stop looking for Kyron Horman. Now, today marks exactly two years since Kyron Horman disappeared from his school in Northwest Portland. His stepmom, Terry Horman, was the last person to see him after taking a picture of him at his science fair at Skyline School. The search for Kyron Horman is the largest search for a missing child ever in the the state's history. The Multnomah County Sheriff's Office has logged more than 26,000 hours. They have also conducted more than 3,500 interviews. Prosecutors have even taken evidence to a Multnomah County grand jury. But at this point, no charges have ever been filed. Kane Horman says he will never stop looking. Same thing we were doing yesterday, and the same thing we're going to do a week from now, trying to figure out other creative ways to continue to get his face out in all of our communities, uh, do, do a better job at trying to continue to get it across the nation as best we can. Terry, why won't you answer a question? Kyron's stepmom, Terry Horman, remains at the center of the investigation. She has never been named a suspect or even a person of interest in the case. On Friday, Kyron's biological mother, Desiree Young, filed a civil lawsuit against Terry Horman, alleging custodial interference. Now, Terry Horman's attorney, Stephen House, at this point, up to this point, has not commented on that civil lawsuit, though he says he has taken the weekend to review it, and we are expecting to hear from him sometime today. Reporting for you live, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin Local 6.